Hi. Well, if there's one thing that 2020 has been famous for, isn't it these things? Face masks. In the midst of the COVID pandemic, we wear them to protect us from germs. And maybe like me, you don't enjoy the experience of wearing a mask. Feels uncomfortable. Having something strapped across your face and blocking your airways. But the truth is, all of us are used to wearing masks most of our lives. We wear masks to hide things about us that we don't want people to see because we're afraid that they'll judge us or reject us if they see what lies behind the mask. And so we wear a mask to hide our shame. Now, we're not the first people to do so. Our first parents, Adam and Eve, hid behind masks of leaves when they disobeyed God. They thought the mask would hide their shame, but God saw through the disguise and exposed what they wanted to hide. But imagine you never had to wear a mask again. Imagine that you would be loved and accepted in spite of all the ugliness and dirt that lies underneath the surface of your life. How liberating would that be? And yet this is the good news of the Christian message and the Christmas message. God has loved us and Christ has died for us, not after we've made everything right in our lives, but when everything was wrong in it. In the Bible, the book of Romans in chapter 5, it says, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And so we don't need to pretend that we are something that we are not with Jesus. If we put our trust in him, we know he has loved us and died for us as we are, as sinners, as messed up people. Yes, shame would hide us away behind a mask. But when we truly grasp what Jesus has done for us, how he has died for us, we can come out from behind the mask and live in the spotlight of his love and mercy. And so we pray that you would find freedom this Christmas to come out from behind your mask and put your trust in him, the Saviour who died for sinners. Thank you, and may you know God's blessing over this Advent period.